So there's still much going on with this election. Yesterday, Georgia confirmed Joe Biden won the state. This comes after it was recounted. The votes hand uh, by hand. This also happened yesterday that the president's lawyer, Rudy Giuliani, Okay, take a look at that at a press conference. He's lucky he, Halloween's already gone. <laughs> okay, he had some unidentified brown that? liquid dripping down his face. Some say it was hair dye. He again made all sorts of allegations about massive voter fraud, but did not provide any credible evidence. Meantime, the president has invited two Michigan lawmakers to the White House today. It's reported he may ask them to pick rogue electors. So what does that even mean? Well, electors are the people who cast the votes for the Electoral College in each state. And by Michigan law, the electors have to vote for the person who got the most votes. So Biden won Michigan by more than 150,000 votes. A rogue elector, on the other hand, would cast a vote for someone other than the person who won, okay? So Tori, just make sense of all of this. What did you make of Rudy Giuliani, all of it? First of all, Rudy Giuliani has just become, and this is both, for, I think, for Republicans and Democrats, just a joke of himself. He was sweating some just for men plus some spray tan, making outrageous claims, quoting my cousin Vinny. If you want to take this election seriously and you want to fight it in litigation, get an election lawyer. Don't get Rudy Giuliani, who looks like he's schwitzing something we don't know what it is. Uh, moving on, the idea that this president wants to take people from Michigan and have them switch their votes should be shocking to everyone. I know we're numb, I know we're numb. But Democrat or Republican, this is a slow moving coup. You don't allow electors who are told to vote by the popular vote to switch because then they discount an entire group of people. They wanna disenfranchise all of Detroit. That's what this means. This one person can say, I don't agree with that. That's what this means. So it is an abomination to our constitution, to our democracy, and all it is is a slow moving coup that ain't gonna work. Jeff? Yeah, I mean, listen, I don't know. I think we're like in the 14th round of a title fight and it's not looking good for one corner, right? He could still come out and he's got a boxer's chance, but it's not looking good for him right now. So the whole thing with Rudy Giuliani, I understand, sadly, he's become a laughing stock. And that's sad. I feel bad for the man. Yeah. And uh, listen, as a country, we need to solve this. I understand Donald Trump still has one more swing in him, but we got to get to the 15th round, and then we need to move on to another but fight. But he mathematically doesn't have any swing left, right? It is impossible for him to have these recounts that you all write me all the time. What about the affidavit story? Yeah, I want to hear them. Those are four, five, maybe 30 in some counties. We're talking 150,000 votes you need to have to be overturned in three different states. It's impossible. So what you're seeing is just trashing democracy. See, and we shouldn't be okay with that. And I think that's important, Tori, what you just said. I don't like the idea of making someone making fun of someone with the hair dye. I don't. If that were Joe Biden, you know, everybody would say, how dare you make fun of him? Somehow when the shoe's on the other foot, everybody can't wait to point and laugh. Well, he's I also do, become a joke of what he says. I, I agree when it comes to what he says. Yeah. I think that's a threat to our democracy. When it comes to making making fun of someone for one of those mishaps that could happen to any one of us, I'm not on board with that. But I agree with you when it comes to our democracy and the threat thereof.